Hi, hi, it's Melinda. This is week four of Chinese Whisper 2 from Mind the Scrap Facebook group. This is the layout that Jeanette sent me this morning. It is not something I normally would do. I don't use four by six photos often, and I never use three four by six photos, but she did this awesome with the two different um, orientations. Some people struggle with that, so I thought I would definitely point out the fact that that is a very nice way to use three photos with different orientations. I'm going to go with smaller photos. These are four by four, and I am going to do three photos. These are from um, my anniversary, uh, which was the 13th of May. Everyone, we all had plans. We all were busy. So we had a track meet. That's my daughter's in the track meet. My daughter had a recital. That's my oldest son and my oldest daughter at her recital. So we had a very busy day, plus 22 years. So this is kind of just how our life goes right now. So I want to kind of capture that. So I'm going to roughly base my layout on this. I'm going to try to use my uh, May hip kit and possibly this pen and paper by Pink Fresh Studios. Live more. This is freedom. I have been in love with this paper for quite some time. And this, I have to admit, this throws me. But I think this layout will work with it. We'll see. But I'm going to put you in fast forward so you can see what I do with this. We're going to start out by chopping these photos down. They end up being um, a touch wider than four inches because I leave a little border on them. I'm not sure why that's waving. I do apologize. I must be bumping the table. I will have to fix that. Um, a lot of this layout is already done with the background the way it is. It doesn't really need a lot. So this one, it's just more moving the photos around, trying to get them to look good. What I'm trying to do here is measure this the the square because I think it needs a, another square. This is a scrap piece of paper that's ten and a half by ten and a half. I'm going to trace it so it's not going to stay, and I'm going to stitch a third square in gold. And there we go. I stitched a third. To me, it just the two squares were just putting me off center I needed like I needed three I don't know why I just needed three <laughs> so I did I made a third one I'm gonna check out the letter stickers I'm using the hip kit make papers for this so I pull most everything from that that's the tissue paper that it came the kit came wrapped in and because this is the main photo the photo of my husband and I I'm gonna put tissue paper around that so it stands out and this picks up the, the aqua minty green in the colored square in the background paper. I'm taking my time more with this. I'm just trying to cording fold it a little bit. We're going to see if I like this better. We're going to trim this up pretty tight because there's not a lot of extra space for these photos. The open space ends up being like a 10 by 10 with all the squares um, I don't leave them like this because the letter stickers I'm going to use are this minty green and I wanted them the minty green in the mat to be as far away from it as possible I'm just writing down my title so that I can uh, make sure I don't miss any letters I'm trying to figure out whether I want the photo to be tipped or straight. Now, because there are not two number twos in these letters, 
I have to spell out 22 years. And I wanted to add happy life. And I'm going to use, oh, what is that? Authentique, petite type, and it's spirited. I believe it's from their one of their Halloween lines. So I'm unsure if I'm going to add it to the title. I'm going to put it someplace else. So for right now, it's just going to sit there. I know my journaling is going to have to go on a tag. So because of the gold thread, I add the gold polka dot tag and then the gold tipped or dipped tag with mint green on the bottom. The mint green really doesn't go with the layout, the different color green, but it's going to be mainly tucked in and no one's going to see it, so it was okay for me. It's not going to waste the tag, so I'm going to cut it in half and then stick to, to pull that polka dotted mint or polka dotted gold around. I'm going to put it down on the, on the bottom photo, opposite corner. I'm going to create a pocket with foam tape. I need a very narrow strip right on that side. Just two strips on the side and then one along the bottom. Scrap paper. There's one on my desk just about big enough. I had to measure it real quick. Tag slides fine. This is the bulk of the layout, but I'm going to sprinkle. This is Honey Swap Gold, and I like to have big droplets of the gold. So I, when I pull it out, I, I don't tap it off or anything. I'm going to try to heat dry these a little bit because lately I've noticed that even if I wipe it up, I still, I still get a little bit of gold on, on the photos if I flip them over to do anything with the back sides. So I'm going to try not to do that, but I end up getting gold on the main photo and I just reprint it and put it right over top. So it can be easily fixed with a home printer, I guess. I, assuming everyone's got a home printer, I suppose, which I know that's not true. And right here is where I get gold on the photo. You see the gold right between us and a little bit of gold on his face. I try to wipe it off. Nope. Not happening. So I just reprint that photo. It was still up on my computer screen in my software, so it's just easy to reprint it. I keep my um, Epson PictureMate 400 right in my scrap room with me. While my computer's taping, I can print photos. It's wireless, but I don't have to run upstairs to grab the photos. I've also noticed that since I've got the, the wireless printer, my children print more photos, send photos to me. Now I'm just, I'm just going to show you the spots. Got one on his chin. I just cut it. I believe I backed that with a piece of foam. Yep, I'm going to put a little piece of foam on it. I'm going to take it away from the layout so I don't get any ink on that one. And I'm going to leave it a little askew so you can see that there's a second photo there if you really look. Kind of just adds another layer. And I, and I decide to put Happy Life right there on that photo. I'm going to cut some gold and white twine and I'm going to tie it in a bow on the photo of the stationary tag because I don't want anyone to pull on that. And then I'm just going to Create a pull tab on the journaling one. I'm going to draw lines on it. And I'll read the journaling. It says, Our busy life in full swing, even on our 22nd wedding anniversary, Meg's dance recital, girls' track meet, and dinner plans. I would not change it for the world. And I just tuck it in. The top part was not glued down, so I was getting it in the back. Just 
Just looking to see if I can add any more. I'm just going to keep adding hearts here and there. Kind of cluster them around the areas. Now, afterwards, I go back and add some more. And you'll see that, see that in the still shots. This ends up being layout 72, 2013, Chinese Whisperer 2, week 4. I'm going to put the date on here, just making sure that it actually stamps correctly. And like I said, there's going to be um, other things added on, and you'll still see them in the still shots. I'm showing you the two compared. Not nearly as close as what some of the other ones are, but three photos, a border, sort of. I want to thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the still shots. If you can look, there's the EXO and a little banner along down by the bottom photo down there that was added. If you're interested in joining the next Chinese Whisper or any of the other challenges we put on, go to the Mind the Scrap Facebook group. They are a great group of ladies, and we would love to have you. Thank you. Bye.